This is the only opportunity here at Michigan State that we have for fish medicine. Everything else that I've had has been externally sought out. So it was a really unique opportunity to not have to travel to get the education that I'm looking for. I designed the, the course in a way that students receive um, many uh, lectures, many uh, like fundamental training, and then is needed to really approach in a practical way the training that they receive from other species. It's of course in part transferable, but they also need specific training about fish before be able to work with fish. That is what we do uh, during, the, during the morning. And then in the afternoon instead, we go more practical activities to really train students either to work in, uh, uh, in group because um, collaboration uh, networking in this uh, uh, field is it's extremely important because again this is an unconventional uh, field. I've never been able to do aquatics in a veterinary setting specifically. It's always been in a biology ecology setting and so to do it from a medical perspective was what really drew me to want to take this course. Again, we don't touch on it very much in general and it's really nice to be able to practice what I'm going to do for the rest of my life in a setting where I love it a lot and biology and veterinary kind of meet together and it's fun to have that happen. On the first day of the clerkship, uh, after just uh, some of my lecture about fish anatomy, in the afternoon we run the fish necropsy uh, lab. Their first instinct is just to go there, op open quickly the, mm, the fish uh, and, and inspect them, I mean, still to familiarize with the, these different organisms. But mm, most of them they do pretty quickly. When we run this activity again at the second time, when we do at the third week, um, it's mostly um, a fish biopsy, so they need to anesthetize the, the fish and they need to do biopsy, so similar technique as they did on the first day. They know much more what they are doing, what also what kind of parasite, what kind of uh, pathogen they may be looking for, or deformity, because sometimes there are also fish deformity. So um, they are more aware also the, the way they dissect the, the, the fish. So you can see an improvement through the mm, just three weeks. This is the first time that I've gotten a taste of more like the anesthesia, drugs, medication, um, learning all the things that I learned in vet school on dogs and cats and being able to apply that to fish. So all the parasites, um, all the viruses, bacteria, everything we learned about it. Um, I think that's been really valuable, uh, as well as finding different ways that I can get involved in fish medicine that are pretty unique to me, um, so that it doesn't just look like servicing people's aquariums. I didn't expect to learn as much from the hatcheries as I did. Um, I've never been super involved in fish farm medicine. I've always been more on the zoo and wildlife side of things. So being able to learn how we stock our Great Lakes and how other countries stock their own um, fish for aquaculture purposes has been really interesting because I've never touched on that before. A lot of what we've covered in this in this clerkship specifically is herd health, so like aquaculture. So that's been a big change for me because having a background in small animal medicine, a cat comes in, you are seeing that cat, you do everything that that owner is willing to do for that cat. With aquaculture and like fish farms, you have thousands of thousands of fish that you are now taking care of. So you don't have every diagnostic, you can't x-ray every fish, you can't treat every fish individually most of the time. So a lot of the kind of um, uniqueness to fish medicine is be being really uh, adaptable when it comes to how you can treat the fish uh, and how you can apply veterinary medicine and, and good ethics of medicine uh, to these large, large herds of fish. Uh, and also the uniqueness of medication. We can't pop a pill in them most of the time. So I think the medicating part has been a huge part. It's a growing sector. Uh, so um, focusing on aquatic veterinary education, it's, uh, it's a strategic. With this course, they can get enough training that almost enough to really enter in this uh, uh, network, in this uh, sector. And they can already get some uh, day one certification, such as the certified aquatic veterinarian provided by WAVMA almost immediately after uh, graduating. They just need to do a little bit more uh, credit accumulation and then they can get this certification. Ideally, I would love to be able to work um, either freelance or officially hired in an aquarium. Um, I also would love to go around the hatcheries and learn more about 
how they function. They're super independent as is. So it'd be really nice to just learn more and be a resource for them as well. I'd like to start out in small animal medicine, so dogs and cats, as well as exotics. Uh, and then eventually I'd love to incorporate fish into more of a uh, at-home servicing. So I would love to do servicing for people's aquariums at home, large saltwater tanks, large businesses, uh, and then also koi ponds as well. So I'd love the end goal to have fish 100% of the time, but I'm very aware that it'll take a little bit.